Shannon, Martin Farr and Tony O'Neill as corner forwards. Nordstrom team are in goal, Tommy Gallagher. Cornerback is Pat Hughes. John Smith is the fullback and Colin McGarry is the other cornerback. Tommy McGuinness, Colin McGarry and Tommy McGuinness, Joseph McEnroe, Bernie Connor are the half back line. With John Victor and Christy Kennedy in the middle of the field. Tony Garvey, Kevin Hughes in his unfamiliar centre half forward role and Finton Chute. Mickey O'Hara, Mel Noonan and Liam Tierney are the full forward line. Sergeant Philip Tiernan to Seamus Byrne. Oh, to have a seem to have an overlap here. A pass inside to Seamus Finnan. Jerry Byrne intercepts it. Chase it on to Seamus Finnan now. Seamus Finnan being chased by Bernie Connell. He shoots. It looks well. It's over the bar. Obviously, takes every free around the middle of the field for Arda. The ball is brought in towards Mackenzie, but John Smith judges the ball perfectly and knocks the ball to Colin McGill. Colin, right for him. He takes the ball up under a fan here. To Liam Tierney. Liam, the All Star. The man who takes with Ireland against Australia. Knocks the ball into Kevin Hughes. To Mel Noonan. Noonan, the crowd roll as Noonan gets the ball. He spells to the ground and it'll be a free dagger sound. Noonan gets up. He pats the men on the back. He knows he's done his work. He knocks the ball in towards the danger area. But Pat Hughes is there. But Tommy Gallagher is covered. Tommy sidesteps one man. He knocks the ball out to Paddy Hughes. Paddy knocks it up. Solo and hands it through. He pushes the ball. Pushes the pass to Liam Tierney. Liam, he's been tackled by Ronnie Dowd. He's come on in place of Mark and Farr. Liam still manages to get the ball. He plays the ball. Left footer. But towards Mel Noonan. The ball goes up as Noonan gets the ball. The danger man. He knocks the ball into a hurry. He's inside. He's been trying to turn inside John Mellon. He's 50 pounds. He shoots. Straight off the line. Straight off the line by John Keegan. And then he goes as far as Tom McGinnis. He punches it as far as Pat Hughes. Pat sidesteps. The famous sidesteps. He plays it up the field. John Victory is there. Kevin Hughes is there. Kevin looks up. He gets the break and more. Plays the ball in towards Mickey O'Hara. Mickey being chased by Bunny Bannon. He's broken up. He plays the ball in towards Newland. Newland takes up one man. He's in the square. He shoots. He's fouled. Newland is fouled. The referee is given a penalty. A penalty to Edward Stone. The other side cannot believe it. Newland is doing fists and toes in the square. It's a penalty. Tom McGinnis, can't throw the look. What an opportunity now for Edgerstown. Well, Lillian says he's done all he can. Philip Taylor goes up to talk to the referee. But he will not change his decision. A buzz of excitement now. As Mr. O'Hara places the ball for his penalty. John Locke the fifth. He's saved one in the first game. Can he do it again? He kicks, it's saved. Yes, it's saved the penalty. Watch out, Louis. Paddy, there's a short ball to Tony Garvey. Tony, pushing up the pass, he's just there. The ball goes to Mickey O'Hara. It hops over his head, but Mickey is still trying to select the ball and correct the strike. Off he comes, he plays the ball, left foot, into John Victory. Mel Noonan is steaming inside him, John looks up, he kicks, it's over the bar! Off to Paddy Hughes, Paddy Hughes, looks up, he plays a pass into the middle of the field, all he can do with him is Philip Sherman, Philip gratefully accepts his presence and plays the ball to James Byrne, James, plays it up into the space, gets to, they say, Johnny O'Neill is there, he's inside Paddy Hughes, he's there, he shoots, oh, and it's still by Gallagher, what a save! and makes a supremacy count. Surely the Connolly Cup will be going to Arda. Paddy Hughes, a little bit of knee pass there to Tom McGinnis. As so much this kick to him, but Liam Tierney nevertheless makes the most of it. He pulls on the ball, left footed along the ground. It goes to Mickey O'Hara. Mickey trying to get past his ever-present shadow, Bernie Bannon. But he does this time, he's in the clear. Mickey's in the clear, he's away from Bernie Bannon. He takes up one man. He shoots. It's hit the crossbar. It's hit the crossbar, and it's fair, he says. He's not going to make any mistakes from this one. Up he comes with the kick. He plays the ball into Mickey O'Hara. Mickey O'Hara stops his time. Plays the ball to Mel Noonan. Mel gets a tackle but still holds on to the ball. He tries to pull it out but Bernie Connell isn't there. Bernie still nevertheless gets out of the ball. Kevin Hughes launches it. He picks up the ball. He tries to pass inside for John Bannon. He kicks the ball goalward. The ball's there. Jerry Lennon is there, he shoots, the ball is in the back of the head, the goal! Jerry Lennon is jumping in the motion! And 
surely at this stage, they've even the kick of the ball in it. Jordan Maxwell, Dana Starr was there, but who has him? There's the ball to Thomas Dennis, Gary Lane, a nice little feed and others under Philip Jennings. He plays it in the end turn, he leaves the ball high. Jordan is going to be next to the ball, he's going to miss the ball out to Mickey O'Hara. O'Hara picks up the ball, he's looking inside him, he's been chased, he's been tackled. Can he get in that ball, Bernie Bannon. What a tight marker he is. Great the ball to Liam Tierney. Liam brings the ball to Tony Garvey. Tony tries to side step a man. He looks, he kicks it, it's high. It's looking good. It's all the way. Kevin trying to compose himself. If it's possible in a game of such tension. The ball landing dangerously in a hurry there. Bernie Bannon this time can't get the ball off. He swings out of him. A hurry there. He's still, he's in the 40 yard line. He kicks. It looks good. It's over the bar. Jerry Lynn is there. Jerry seems overstretched in the sound. But the ball just into John Kern and a fine tool attack from John Smith. Let's him turn round. Joe Farrell is there. He's chased by Liam Kearney. The ball is high. Dangerous. Turn around the end of time goes. The ball is breaking. And Paddy Hughes is there. Paddy Hughes. There's the ball. Leffel. Back towards Christy Kennedy. Christy. Getting the ball away as quick as he can. The ball goes up. Jerry Lynn is there. So is James Farrell. Jerry brings the ball out, but Mickey O'Hara is there. Mickey brings the ball in, James is here, but Jerry Lynn. Jerry Lynn brings out a shot, it's over the bar. The ball breaks in the middle of the field, Looney is there, Phil Taylor is there. He brings the ball low, it's a Mel Bannon. The ball is picked up, James is here in the square, Tom McGinnis is there. He funds him round. John Smith is there, John Smith is just coming out of the ball. The referee is Jordan Pickle. He's blown his whistle. There seems to be a lot of argument in there. He's given a penalty. The referee in the dying minutes of the game. By my watch, the time is up. The referee has given a penalty. Oh, what drama. What excitement. The score. One, one five, which is eight points to Edgerton. And all the six points. Two points in it. A goal is worth three points. So you wouldn't have to be forced to the make up it. Vincent Kieran puts this one in the back of the net. Ah, the hub is caught. John Connolly Cup. What pressure is on this man? The chance on the left. What is wrong? It's got away. He's kicking wide. Man, no, no, there's something in the white shot. Freddy Connell. Surely, this is the end. The final kick in this great saga. Dallas and Genesee has never had Uncle Tony's championship. After a second replay, what a game, what drama, the final score, six points to one five. So now, we hear at the jubilant scenes as we see on the pitch, absolute ecstasy. Really, the relief, the, the joy can be seen on the whole of the Edison people and the sheer despondency of the other supporters.